Hi, I'm Jakub and welcome to the lecture about quasi-polynomial time algorithm for parity games. First, I describe what parity games are and where they lie in a hierarchy. Next, I'll show exponential Zielonka's algorithm, which is the base for even better algorithms. I'll show Paris improvements to the algorithm that make it quasi-polynomial. Finally, we explore how to make the algorithm even faster. Being on par with the state of the art, plus being conceptually very easy. This lecture is based on Pavel Paris' paper on parity games Zielonka's algorithm in quasi-polynomial time and Lechtinen, Schuss and Wojciech's paper improving the complexity of Paris' recursive algorithm. So let's start. First, we need to know what parity games are. Parity game is played between two players, even and odd. It is played on a directed graph where every vertex has an outgoing edge. Moreover, every vertex has some priority. And every vertex belongs either to the even or odd player. We denote it by square and circle respectively. So uh, there is a token placed on some vertex and in every round the owner of the vertex moves the token along one outgoing edge. Both players are playing forever. In this infinite game we look at all vertices and their priorities that were visited infinitely often. If the highest infinitely visited priority is even, even player wins, otherwise odd player wins. The question is, given the starting vertex of the token, which player wins? Or more broadly, classify all vertices where even player wins if the token starts in that vertex. So let's uh, explore this game. So squares are uh, odd players and circles are even players. So uh, we can we can start for instance here and odd player moves, uh, moves the token here. Um, now even player can choose this vertex or this vertex. So let's say that he chooses this vertex. Then uh, odd player chooses and he, he moves here and then even uh, moves here. So we, we created uh, some cycle. If both players would agree and um, cycle in that cycle, then odd player wins because the highest priority visited infinitely often is free. But uh, even player can play differently. If he gets to this vertex uh, with priority 2, he can go here and then back here to 1. So he can enforce to stay in that circle. And in that circle he wins because the highest priority is to here. So what do we know about the game? The game is determined. That means that for every position, one of the players has a winning strategy. It is known that parity games is in NP, intersection co-NP. So uh, and another definition we need to know before uh, we can start describing algorithms is that of dominion. Dominion uh, for even is a set of vertices that even wins from any vertex and can ensure that the token does not leave this set. So for instance this is the dominion for even, even player. He, he can ensure that 
he will ne uh, that token will never leave this this three vertices if he just uh, stays playing from two to one and from one to one and he also wins also these four vertices are dominion for for even because he can ensure that that uh, the token never leaves that means uh, and that's easy because this uh, this three verte vertices the token will never leave and from this vertex we can go just to uh, these three vertices and also he wins there because this vertex is visited just once and then uh, even player can just cycle here so just to recap dominion is the set where even player wins and he can ensure that the token does not leave that set now let's introduce the basic exponential algorithm we describe the algorithm for even for odd is the same we suppose that the highest priority in the graph is h and that and that that priority is even First, we find all the vertices with highest priority and we compute its attractor. Just to remind you, attractor of n in a graph G for player P is the set of vertices in G such that if token starts there, player P can force it to some vertex of n. Attractor of n in G for player P is relatively easy to compute, as you re remember from, from lectures. First, we can start with N. If there is a piece vertex that has edge going to the attractor, we add this vertex to the attractor. If there is a vertex of piece opponent that has all outgoing edges going to the attractor, we add this vertex to the attractor. So after we got the attractor, we delete it f from the from the game graph G, and we create new new graph H. Uh, note that there are no uh, vertices with priority H. So we can recursively solve this game, where all vertices with priority H and its attractor are uh, deleted and we can so solve this game recursively for odd. After we solve this game recursively for odd we get W O winning set uh, for for odd player. So anytime uh, the token gets to W O uh, odd player wins. So we compute attractor of this uh, W O from graph G. Everything that's uh, any time token starts there, uh, it can get to W O. And then we remove these vertices from from the graph, and we co and we compute uh, we continue again. We do these steps again and again until th there are no winning set for odd left. After that what we are left with are just uh, are just winning vertices for even. So that was the easiest algorithm. We proved the correctness and time later for better algorithms that uh, we will show. Now let's jump to Paris algorithm. To make Zielanka's algorithm better, we first need to understand what does it do. It takes a graph and erases every vertex that leads to vertex with priority H. And in the resulting graph tries to find a winning set for odd so we can see it here. 
This is the winning set of vertices that can avoid a vertex with priority H completely. Then we compute its attractor. If we start there, we just visit vertex with priority H more or less once and then we go to the winning set for odd. In the next loop of algorithm, we deleted some vertices with priority H. That means that they, their attractor is smaller and we can find a new winning set for odd and again its attractor. These are vertices where odd player wins, but even player can decide that he either stays there or visits some vertices with priority H and then goes to the winning set found in the previous step. So we can see it here. This is the first winning set for odd that, that, that was found. It doesn't uh, it ensures that, that we cannot uh, visit vertex with priority H. This is the second winning set for odd. Odd either wins here or or wins here after after a while. So in the eighth step of the algorithm, we find winning set for odd for which holds either even stays there and loses loses or it moves meets vertex with priority H but then gets the winning set for odd found in one of the previous steps. This creates partitions of winning set for odd. So W0, W1 and W2 and so on. Note that these are partitions of the original graph. That especially means that at most one set can be bigger than one half the size of the original graph. So what's the Paris idea? He is trying instead of uh, finding the winning set for odd of any size, he tries to find a winning set that is at most half the graph. If he is in, unable to, he either found all of them, all of the winning vertices for odd, or there is a one that is very big that he couldn't find. So the, then he does one step, uh, one loop of the Zionkas algorithm and then after that loop of Zionkas algorithm he is again trying to find some smaller winning set for odd. So you can see the algorithm here. It gets uh, two, par two parameters as Zelenka's algorithm G and H, but also the precision parameters PE and PO. That's that's the size of the biggest do dominion, biggest winning set for PO uh, that he is looking for, and we we can see it here first. He, he does everything that Zelenka's algorithm does but he is trying to find a smaller winning set. After he is done with that and he cannot find any new uh, winning set that is at most half of the size of the graph, then he go goes and, uh, and tries to do uh, one step of the Zelenka's algorithm and after that he does does again uh, his step where he's trying to find the, um, the winning set that is uh, not too large. Now you have every ingredient such that I can present you the last algorithm and the fastest algorithm. This algorithm 
gets four parameters, graph G, the priority H, that is the current ma maximum, and a PE and PO. Precision modifiers, as in the Paris algorithm. In the previous algorithms, we just deleted odds dominions until there were none left. Here, we find everything in three recursive steps. So let's look at it. Functions solve E, G, H, P, E, P, O returns a set that contains all dominions up to the size P, P, E for play, player even and avoids all of the dominions with sizes up to P, O. The algorithm first finds a set that contains all of even's dominion and avoids all odds with the except of the biggest if the biggest is bigger than half of the graph. So we can we can see it here. Here we found every uh, we found even's player every dominion so that's set where he wins and we've we avoided everything except something which is uh, everything uh, where odd player wins except maybe something which is very big so everything which is outside uh, that set is winning for odd player. So we can also compute its attractor and then uh, remove it from the graph. The algorithm needs to find all odds dominions, especially the largest one. So it takes all vertices with highest priority, computes an attractor and removes them from the graph. So we can see, see it here. So it get, gets to G2. On the resulting graph, it finds a winning set for odd recursively and then removes its attractor. The found winning set contains the biggest dominion of odd player uh, because we uh, here we we just did recursive steps but we found winning set for odd that can be big then we had to find all of them namely also the biggest one now we need also to get rid of vertices that are winning for odd but visited some vertices with highest probability and we do it here that is the algorithm it consists of three, three recursive calls first we decrease the precision next we decrease the highest priority and lastly we again decrease the precision uh, recall Zielonka's algorithm it's similar it has also three loops or, or three steps first we, we are doing uh, here with decreased uh, precision then we are trying to find winning set for odd here with decreased uh, priority and then again with uh, we are doing it for decreased precision now let's look at the correctness we want to show that solve contains all even dominions up to the size PE and it does not intersect any odd dominions of the size up to PO. We prove it by induction by H 
plus PE plus PO. If it's zero, we can return any set. If H is equal to zero, everything is dominion for even player, so we are done. Now let's look at the even dominion D. It has to be co contained in so solve E, G, H, P, E, P, O. So it has to survive all these, um, these steps where we filter it out. So definitely D has to be contained in this set because it's dominant for even and we didn't decrease the precision. So it's here. Intersection of G2 and D is also even dominion. So it cannot intersect with W star. So what's happening here? So either the dominion is uh, contains uh, vertices with highest probability and we we get rid of all of them so then uh, it's not in G2 or it, it is in G2 the do dominion has uh, size smaller than PE and we cannot find it uh, here in the recursive call. So also the dominion avoids W prime. And also uh, the dominions survived, survived up to G3 and it has to be returned in this call where we call for G3 and P, P, E, and we find it uh, again by induction. So dominant D is not in W3, and it's in neither of these three sets. That means that we successfully returned. So let's let's us have a union of odd dominions. Any dominion. And its attractor that has a size of less than half is found in this step. And it's and it will be uh, deleted. So we are fine. If we found all odd dominions, we are done. But it may happen that there is one dominion that is big. This dominion has to have also a subdominion that is big and that, that does not contain any vertex of priority H. So if it wasn't wouldn't be the case, then uh, in this dominion uh, even player can uh, force uh, odd player to get to, to the priority H and by definition even player wins, not the odd one. So we find this dominion here in a recursive call. And we also find it, its attractor. Now we do not have any big odd dominion in the graph, so we can find all of them and then remove in the recursive call. Now if we know the algorithm and we know that it's correct, we would like to say how long does it take. H is the number of priorities or the highest priority there is and L is the logarithm of our maximum precision. So uh, it's basically logarithm of N. So from the from the algorithm we have there three recursive calls. Two of them decreases L and one of them decreases H. So here is the one uh, recursive decreasing. L 
this one decreases H and this one decreases L. So by computation we get that this algorithm is pseudo-polynomial. So that's it. Thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to your questions.